Hello friends, I'm excited to bring the Word of God to you today. My name is Yemi Adelaye and I'll be sharing the Word of God very regularly on this channel and this through this uh, medium. I believe that it's going to be a blessing to you and we're just going to have a great time together. It's going to change your life as it has changed mine. I, I, I want to title this Crowded Mind. Crowded Mind. Many of us have so much in our minds when we want to make decisions we contemplate a lot what's this person going to think about it what is that person going to think about it how am i going to come across to to this person and that person and to the people out there and we become we become so self-conscious that we we are almost like paralyzed it 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 holds us bound and we are not able to do what we know in our hearts that we are proposed to do, that we are called to do. And some people are actually take the they, they take the step forward to do it, but they are still their mind is still crowded with people. What are people thinking of me? Oh, how have I how did I do today? Self consciousness to the point where it almost becomes like a, 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 a chain and a, a, a something that holds you back. And to be very clear about what the scripture says, the Bible says, He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Now, one of the benefits of redemption is that God has set you free to do what He has called you to do without being bothered or being uh, held back or being enslaved by the thoughts or being captured by the thoughts of what people uh, would think about you or how you come across it can be a trap and I, I believe that this is going to set you free this is going to transform you this is going to change your life as we look in the scripture today so first uh, Hebrews 12 2 says fixing your eyes on Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith he is the author of it and the finisher of it which means the finisher the word finisher there means the perfecter of your faith for the now check this out for the joy set before him that's jesus he endured the cross scorning the shame despising the shame and sat down at the right hand at the right hand of the throne of god Take note of the word despising the shame, despising what is normally seen as something that despises you. Many of us feel ashamed or feel embarrassed or are so self-conscious about something about us. Maybe we have a flaw, maybe it's the way we speak, maybe it's our looks or whatever it is that makes us so conscious of ourselves or it could even be maybe someone's opinion of us or doing what God has called you to do and you're wondering what is this person thinking right now? What would this other person be thinking right now? Or what would the people think of me? People's opinion has never been a yardstick for you to do what God has called you to do, to do what you are inspired to do. People's opinion has, is never designed to be in your way. And when, because when God put that thing in your heart, he did not seek any opinion from anybody. And the only person you really should be trying to please is the one who has laid it in your heart to do what you are doing and uh, to do what you're called to do. So I just, I'm, I'm very, very passionate about this. I know that this is an issue that a lot of us, have, us including myself, have had to deal with. But I thank God because my life is a living, I'm a living testimony of how God can deliver you from the opinions of men. Just like David says, you have just de delivered me from the strivings of the people. Because I believe that you would experience God much better if you care, when you begin to care less of what people think. Uh, I have it, uh, the scripture right here in front of me. Uh, Mark 5 20 Mark 5 25 to 34 talking about the woman with the issue of blood uh, what's that got to do with it oh yeah it's got a lot to do with it first of all you need to know that uh, when you care less of what people think it 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 it, it, it takes the burden 
off your mind and all you are uh, focused on the, that scripture that I read earlier saying fixing your eyes on Christ oh my god fixing your eyes on Christ that you cannot be looking at Christ and be looking at people perhaps if you're still bothered and all you, you you think about is what people think of me what people think of me maybe your heart is not yet fully fixed on Christ because when your heart is fully fixed on Christ you will not even see anyone else talk, I'm talking about the eyes of your mind the eyes of your spirit talk less of thing, wondering what they think about you so quickly with the, to this story of the woman with the issue of blood uh, we know the story I'm not going to read all the verses a woman with a certain issue of blood which had an issue of 12 years and had suffered many things by many physicians had spent all that she had I'm summarizing and she was nothing better she grew worse when she heard of Jesus she came in the press behind glory to God that's very important for you to take note of and touched his garment for she said if I touch but his clothes I shall be made whole and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague and Jesus immediately knowing himself had virtue had gone out of him asked her who touched me and his disciples said unto him thou seest the multitude master touching you so why would you say who touched me and he looked around and said but someone touched me uh, but the woman fearing and trembling that has done this thing knowing what was done in her came and fell down before him and told him all the truth and jesus said unto her daughter thy faith that's very important your faith has made you whole go in peace and behold of your plague one thing i want us to take note of is, is right here is this she pressed through the crowd so important among many other things that you could that are in that scripture is so full of revelation and light that's what the word of god is about but take note of that she pressed through the crowd now i'm speaking on something titled crowded minds many of us this crowd that is in this scripture is in our minds we are car we are going around we're walking around waking up every day carrying a whole crowd of people in our minds oh it, it, a lot of people now there's a whole lot of crowd that has made a deposit deposit of words and thoughts and opinions into your heart that you took so seriously and that has really 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 had an effect on how you see life how you see yourself how you go through life on a daily basis oh my 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 some people actually just live their lives to please people you cannot live your lives to please people there's only one person to be pleased and he is god is christ so you cannot spend the whole of your life trying to please people people and you know what the truth is people are never pleased anyways oh yes because what people want changes from time to time so if you are going to live your life pleasing people you are not going to have an identity because you would move from opinion to opinion from the uh, one reigning one style that is making the rounds to another in your, in your dress code in everything in your hair your your makeup your your how you look how you speak you cannot please people with your life you have got to embrace yourself oh my you have got to own your difference you have got to be joyful about what god has called you to be to do you have got to stand up and be bold for once and do what god has called you to do do what is in your heart do what you're inspired to do without the the barrier of people hallelujah many of us cannot press through the crowd the crowd the, our minds are so crowded we we have a problem going through that crowd that is what is stopping us from doing what we know we've been called to do that is exactly what is stopping us from accomplishing from 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 going beyond the limits many of us are so creative we have so many gifts we can do amazing things that not many not many people can do because god has gifted you uniquely 
but there you are you cannot do what you know you've been gifted to do or you cannot do it to the to your to the strength to the ability to the level of the ability that you know you have because someone somewhere is thinking about you you're wondering you're worried about how you're going to look before people no 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 self-consciousness self-awareness uh, and all of the, the the thoughts of people's opinion and these things are a barrier they can be a hurdle in doing what god has called you to do you have got to lay that aside and fix your eyes on christ the author is the author and the finisher the author and the perfecter there is no audience for you to perform for except him it's an audience of one. Oh, and guess what you know what he has fully accepted you for who you are he made you in the first place he wired you with the things with the gifts with which you have and the expressions of of, of gifts and talent and calling that is coming that is that is able to come out of you the bible says all good and perfect gift coming from god so it that is the only person and is already approved of you who else who else's approval do you need oh my 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 i think that is transforming it is liberating it is it sets you free to be able to know that there's just one person to please and that person is already pleased you guess what he's never going to be more pleased than he's already pleased if you are in christ jesus he is pleased because you are in christ you are accepted in christ if he's pleased with christ he's pleased with you because you are in christ you are accepted he accepts you and you don't have to be wondering if any other person there is no god has no deputies he doesn't have assistance he doesn't have a panel of judges who could decide with him about you he's the only one making decisions about you and he says i am already pleased with you oh my 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 if you catch a revelation of this you stop living your life to please people you will stop living your life to please people uh, our minds are crowded with opinions with so many things with traditions uh, the crowd is usually in the mind this crowd that the woman of the, with the issue of blood had to go through is a crowd today with you and me we have the same crowd in the in our minds yeah you're wondering what this uncle will think what this person thinks what your pastor thinks what this person thinks and everything that is a crowd that crowd is preventing you from going forward you have got to press through that crowd it's a thick cloud a crowd that many times we fail to press through this thick crowd and that's why things remain the way they are that is why we've not been able to do the things that we dream to do or to the extent of your dream have you have you been able to fulfill the dreams that god has called you to do if you know how much god how much god still has in store for you man you will get out and and step out and not mind what crowd who's looking at you let's go on the, this crowd is a problem for many people uh, there are many people who will tell you the bible says she pressed through the crowd oh my god you will not receive the miracle that god has because she she practically knows that there is a miracle out there for her she knows the breakthrough is in christ jesus she knows that if she can go through the crowd if she presses through the crowd she's when she touched she said to herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment so she knew what the what the solution was now this is the point but the problem is that she between her and the solution there's a crowd how is she going to get to the solution if she doesn't press through the crowd so she's going to have to first of all press through a crowd my 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 there is a crowd standing in between you and god's calling for your life there's a crowd standing between you and your the fulfillment of your dreams there's a crowd standing between you and all that god has called you to do press through that crowd 
press through that crowd and you will see the hand of God upon your life. We're, we're out of time. I, I just don't want to go over the, the time of this uh, broadcast. But make sure you join on the next episode. We're going to be talking much more about this. God bless you. Stay empowered. Go through the crowd. Press through the crowd. God loves you. Accept you for who you are. You are accepted in the beloved. You cannot be God cannot love you any better anymore because he's already accepted you because you are in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Thank you very much. See you next time.